They have a very strong squad, yeah. Um, they used, what, 33 players in the league, if not one or two more, but just to settle on a team now for me, that's what I think Tipperary need to, need to do. You know, it's grand having a squad, but you still need to know your 20 or 22 players that you're going to be using over the four or five weekends. So, you know, that's something Michael Ryan, you'd hope at this stage now, will have uh, sorted out. And he has a few long-term injuries coming back into that squad, which includes James Cannon, Bonner Mayer, and Norm McGrath. So I do think Tipperary have uh, one of the strongest squads in the Championship. They're definitely contenders in my eyes. Um, now, they have to get out of the Munster Championship and it's easier said than done, especially with their first game on in Gaelic grounds, you know, which is never easy to go down and, and get a victory down there. And Limerick are a farm team for me at the moment. You know, they have an experienced guy involved in the backroom team, Paul Kinnerk, who has experienced all Ireland success with Clare. So you know, it's nice to have that in their backroom team. But we have to really get over that game. Uh, I think their confidence will be be sky high after that and uh, I think they can be formidable opposition going on. Yeah, he probably does. You know, it's in Cork, I suppose, and Kilkenny as well. Let's call a spade a spade. It's in the traditional counties. With his squad of players and which the age, with the age profile of the players, um, the Paddy Mars, the Brendan Mars, the Noel McGrath, Bonner Mars, those experienced guys from the all and win, winning minor teams of 06 and 07, they're all hitting 29, 30 now, so you know, there's definitely an All-Ireland or two in those guys, but it has to come sooner, I suppose, rather than later. Yeah, for me, they probably didn't learn the lessons of the league uh, defeat to Galway last year because in the Munster Championship first round against Cork, Cork kind of ran them ragged, I suppose, Conor Lehan and a uh, few of these guys had the freedom of the pitch. So as the year went on, they seemed to tighten up more at the back. I know they changed their keeper and that. So it's probably something with Tipperary's defence like that. Um, you know, if they're pulled and dragged around the pitch, they seem to be vulnerable. So, you know, I suppose in the league final, there was one or two moments too where Kilkenny done that. So I hope that they go with a set six that's probably a bit more defensive minded for the championship and if they do and not concede goals I suppose and um, you know they'll be they'll be contenders and the goalkeeper in full back position they just need to uh, to settle on that and if they do it'll probably be the the, the foundation of a, of a strong team for the season. Yeah you'd never rule it out um, you know I suppose I'm uh, testing the waters now to see what it's like to experience it and you know, sometimes you'll often hear like the Paul O'Connell in the rugby world saying that uh, he's testing the waters as well and you know it's something that I enjoy doing um, but just even talking to guys about it, like the commitment levels that are with inter-county teams now are they're gone through the roof like you know before it was Tuesday, Thursday game at the weekend now it's, it's, it's full time, they're full time professionals and with the new structure of the championship we'll say you know work issues and that becomes a problem whereas because you're playing week after week so but it's something you'd never rule out and uh, you know you'd always have that that crowd to get it back involved, we'll say, at, at inter-county level at some stage.